This is a friggin' 90s gold mine right here. Look at this place. I'm gonna ask for the whole booth. Dude, this could be my favorite flea market I've ever been to. <laughs> I think I undersold this one. This is so cheap. These prices are outrageous, dude. Perfect. It's a new day, which means a new day of hunting with Carrie at Country Classics. Good. Pretty good flea market, he says. I don't know, never been here, but we'll see. And there's a flea market right there. So we might hit that up as well. So wish us luck. All right, right off the bat, we have a really cool booth. TV football game. Oh, look at him. <laughs> that is awesome. People Weekly, dude. Carrie, these are amazing. I remember I these. I that is it. so rad. Star Wars figs. Okay, the prices are really good in here. Five ninety nine. What else? What else? Turtle case. The turtle case for fifteen. Carrie, I'm liking this booth already. This one is super rad. And I just got a Skeletor yesterday. Is this fifteen also? It's twenty. I'm gonna get that one. The, the turtle one I already have, and it's a little faded. X-Men figures. Okay, so this is awesome, Carrie. This is called a projector, mm -hmm. and it would like project out of his chest. Introducing X-Men projectors. X-Men figures that light your walls with X-Men adventures. You control the action. X-Men projectors sold separately with three action adventure discs. Like, those oh. are so rad. Oh, never see those. Cool. It's a Creepy Crawlers X-Men, and it's like, Always wanted is this thing crawlers. new? Dude. I'm in love with this booth right off the bat. There's the beast. Carrie, I'm about to spend so much money. Do it. Oh, beast X-Men projector. This is a freaking 90s gold mine right here. Look at this place. I'm gonna ask for the whole booth. Look at this. Here's a Spider-Man 3D board game. Definitely gonna get this for old Marvel Morris. Okay, that's amazing. I seriously wanna buy the whole booth. Do you mind if I leave these with you right, right here? No. Thank you. This is a X-Men car. Carrie. I've never seen what this. What is I don't happening? Know what it is. It's a Wolverine X-Men Tyco RC car. Radio. It's new. Oh, there's the and it's how much? Right there. It's from the 90s. Right it says 93. 20. 20 bucks. Added to our pile. This is cool. This is Play Putty Color Forms Wolverine. $2.99? This is ridiculous. All right, here's a Star Trek collector's case. And then here's a magic, remember these? Magic cling. It's like the vinyl you'd put on windows and stuff. I just missed these two. Got some Batman Returns. Man, the prices are outstanding here. So that is, a, that is a first for me to see the first booth and just go wild and buy a ton right, right off the bat. All right, guys, I wanna cut in real quick to thank today's video sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is an easy to use virtual private network that can protect you from threats in just one click or by enabling auto connect, you can have zero click protection. Right now you can sign up and get a 30 day money back guarantee. You don't want to miss the Nord security bundle that's available. There are three plans to choose from. You got standard, which includes VPN only, plus, which includes VPN and pass, and complete, which includes VPN, pass, and locker. And you get a bonus of one month on top on all plans and products when you use the Retro Rick code. With this bundle, you get to enjoy the leading VPN service and malware blocker. Nord does the work for you by generating and storing strong passwords, and they also protect your files in an encrypted cloud. Get the exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash retrorick. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to nordvpn.com slash retrorick to get a two-year plan with a huge discount plus one additional month for free just by using my code. Again, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Carrie, you've ever, ever been into She-Hulk? Uh, I've not, but I saw it's about to come out on Disney Plus and I can show. X-Men, Flash, Terminator. Ooh, another Chromium. Oh, gosh. Carrie, I'm starting to collect Chrome-covered comic books. Because oh, I just think they're, they're beautiful. We weren't exactly sure if this place was gonna pan out and uh, it is proving 
to be great. I will say it's it's kind of unassuming mm-hmm. outside. Well, it's it's not just even like a listed as a flea market. It's listed as an antique store. Ooh, look at that. We got an Ecto Bob Kit. How much is it? Twenty four. Yes. What year? It's what, open. What year is that guy? 2012. Maybe it's when cool. that newer movie, the female-led one, came out. Has it really been that long since that one came know. out? I don't years? think so, but I see take. I kind of like it better than the original. What? Wait a minute. No, God. Oh, goodness. I know, I know. Fighting words in the comments. Gary, Danny, new kids on the block. <laughs> Cousin Misty, if you're watching, I know you're not. There's if you are. There's so there's you want so that, much let me know. 90s nostalgia, oh, yeah, 80s and yeah. 90s in the box here. Oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? This is a vintage ET ornament. It's freaking awesome. I need what? it. It's a plate. I need it. Whoa, I just missed this. No, I know. ET like bowl. Cereal bowl. There's goosebumps in here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Little... There's a bunch of ET stuff. Oh, and I think there's more on the corner if I remember right, correctly. Let me, let me add this. And Carrie, I already have this. Wait, does that say $2? Okay. <laughs> That's insanely cheap for this guy. I'll put up a... Uh, Oh, he is missing the handlebars, but still. Cool piece. There's so much E.T. Here's the E.T. flower figure. Here's the one where on a phone. So this is, this is from, here's a wind-up figure. E.T. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. Oh, my. Oh, my. It's a puffy kids E.T. book. Dude, this could be my favorite flea market I've ever been to. I think I undersold this one. It's Look quality. at all the E.T. literature. Is this uh, E.T. people from 1982? This is too much for me, bro. E.T. Letters, storybook. Letters to E.T. All of these young novels. Ooh, man, we are not even halfway into this place, and I'm already... You're not even, like, a fifth of the way through this place. Picture activity book. Oh, oh Gary! Spider-Man phone in the box! Holy crap! Spider-Man telephone. Marvel Morris, this is coming This is coming home to you, bro. Look at all of, there's more ET figures. You got Bart okay, on the skateboard. Oh, freaking 2 dollars Look at this. Freaking Captain Planet. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. These prices are outrageous, dude. This is so cheap. Carrie, thank you for taking me here. I owe you lunch, Carrie. I actually have this guy already, but he is super cool. Just, is he cheap? Six bones. I just can't get over the prices. What in the world? Look at this. Free ET finger flashlight inside. Let's look at the cheese nips. $1.99. This one's not as intriguing to me, especially since it's like all kind of opened up. Oh. like out of pottery class. He kind of looks like a, like a, like a poop. It's so weird that I want it to. Oh, here's tons of things. Snoopy okay. Bank. Yeah, you're right. And it's got the little stopper. That's cool. Carrie has found something nostalgic. Very nostalgic. So my sister had this one. I had a blue one. And you put a coin in, and it would like go down, and then it would hit, and then it would go around, and it would sort it based on like the weight into, or then you put I your dollar bills here. Time. And then you would do this to get it out. This is how I saved money for a long time. That's awesome. I know that back in be, the 90s. We'd be friends with the person that has this booth. Yeah, at this point, I'm literally speechless at all the stuff that they have in here. Oh, like I literally am seeing more stuff right here. They have a troll in its box. I just can't remember the last time I saw so many boxed toys from the 80s and 90s at really great prices, too. All right, let's let's keep. We got to keep. Dude, this is nuts. Look at all of these. Human torch. Look, it, it was $6. It's only eight here. <laughs> Inflation did, doesn't exist here, Carrie. <laughs> oh, dude, that is beautiful. Look at that guy. You need this, bro. You need this. That's pretty old because I think I'm paying 50 now. Got some Pokemon cards down here, too. There's a Masters of the Universe Mega Box or Mega Constructs little set. These look newer, I think. Not 100% sure. Some kind of Mr. Potato Head, but with cats and dogs or something. These are, oh, dude. I <laughs> care. You remember these? Fisher Price. Little Knights, those figures. You remember those? Here's the Rugrats vehicle. The Reptar Wagon. I said no games. I see one game. Nope. I see three, four games. Okay. Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Battlefront 4, and, yeah, nothing. 
These are ET cards, photo cards, and it's on this blister pack thing. I want to run out of space on my ET shelf <laughs> real quick. Oh my gosh, look yeah, at this. <laughs> this is outrageous, dude. All the cards, they got Star Wars cards, Star Trek, Magic the Gathering. There's a Spider-Man lunchbox. Dude, these are cool, Carrie. These are cool. Little oh, baby Yodas. They're like crocheted. Carrie, have you been looking for this? I have. The Richie Happy yeah. Days. My sister, we love oh. Happy Days. Oh, happy Days was great. Whoa, games, games, games. Games, 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 oh, Carrie. Yeah. It's the Darkness 2. 650. The Darkness 2. Don't know if that's good or not. Yeah, Madden's Gears of War, Mass Effect, all uh, cheap games for sure. War-related game, don't know that one, never heard of it. Maybe it's good, who knows? It's a huge Inspector Gadget toy. If I hadn't have picked up so much already, I what probably would get him. Oh wait, I do think I vaguely remember this. Hey, kind of our first VHS sighting, I don't really see many VHS. Okay, so there's a bunch, but I don't see any of that. I need or want to pick up, unfortunately. Another good, crazy one? Well, just a good digging boot. Yes. Jump up in there. It's almost like it's like the same person. It's a huge Spider-Man figure. I don't know. Yeah. You literally have to dig. Whew. Okay. Like literally overwhelmed. <laughs> this is drag strip thermit. I, well, I don't know. Is that a thing? Was it a show? Is it just a drag strip and they made it a thermos? Who knows? <laughs> this one's cool too. Ringling Bros, Barnum and Bailey. Some people, I mean, people out there are collecting these plates. I mean, not for me. Are anybody out there in the comments, you guys collect license plates? I can't tell you guys how many times me and my wife have watched Everybody Loves Raymond all the way through. Probably like 10 times at this point. How do we miss the Wild Wild West figure? <laughs> <laughs> that was easily one of the most unassuming flea markets I've ever been to. Look at it. Look at it again. It's just like a tin building and all this gold was inside. Look at all of this stuff. Wolverine, X-Men, RC Radio, the Spider-Man telephone. <laughs> it's wild. Uh, these projectors are so rad. I have the Wolverine. I didn't have any of those. We got the X-Men collector's case. Look at the book, that's like one of my favorite things. That is freaking terrifying. Uh, all these figures down here, this creepy crawl, I didn't know this existed. Any of the crossover toys, I love creepy crawlers. X-Men, we got a cereal bowl. This was the prices, guys, $2.99 for this. This is brand new from back in the 90s, ET cards, amazing. You guys tell us down below what was your favorite thing from this booth or from this flea market. I'm gonna say for me, probably the projector just because they are a rad, rad toy. But tell us down below. Until next time, peace.